In this lecture we will discuss receptor types in the body. The first thing we need to know is what is the receptor. Receptor is a proteinaceous macromolecule exist mainly on cell surface and part of them may exist intracellular. They receive the drug, hormones or transmitter substances that occur naturally in the body, initiating series of changes within the cell, and then that gives response such as muscle contraction or relaxation and controlling gland secretion. Any drug or substance binds to the receptor activating or deactivating is called ligand. Ligand that activates the receptor is called agonist, and the one that deactivates the receptor is called antagonist. We have four types of receptors. Channel-linked receptors, or known as ligand-gated ion channels. G-protein-coupled receptors. Enzyme-linked receptors, or known as kinase-linked receptors. And nuclear receptors. Let's discuss one by one. Channel-linked receptors are membrane receptors linked to ion channels. When the ligand binds to its binding site on the receptor, the ion channel connected to the receptor opens, allowing influx or outflux of a certain type of ions. And that initiates the response in the cell. G-protein-coupled receptors are membrane receptors linked to G-protein. And G-protein is composed of three subunits, alpha, beta and gamma plus a GDP molecule bound to alpha subunit. They comprise of the largest known class of membrane receptors. Humans have more than 1,000 known types of them. Ligand binds to its binding site on the receptor. The cytoplasmic domain of the receptor is altered. GDP is replaced by GTP which contains energy. Then if a GTP complex migrate to the effector system which is the target protein, that could be an enzyme such as phospholipase C or it could be an ion channel, and that initiates a series of events, through the formation of a secondary messenger. Some G proteins can stimulate activity while others can also inhibit. The response is sustained as long as the ligand is in its binding site and is terminated when it goes away. The GTP is hydrolyzed to GDP and the process is repeated. Kinase linked receptors contain an enzyme as a part of their structures, mostly tyrosine kinase. When the ligand binds to the receptor assembly of two receptors to form dimer occurs, leading to activation of tyrosine kinase and phosphorylation of tyrosine residue in the receptor, allowing intracellular proteins to bind to it, and that initiates a series of events in the cell. And nuclear receptors are intracellular receptors, so, the ligand must be highly lipophilic to be able to enter the cell to reach them. Their action is obtained through synthesis of new proteins or enzymes in the cell. For more information and example download the PDF from the link down in the description.